Huss. Elam Road. Huss. Shout out to my Huss. boy E. Keep it going. Huss. This for you, boy. Huss. Boy, I got a unique Huss. I had to get it out the mud. I Huss. I ain't waiting on shit. I Huss. Everything I get. I Huss. I grind all the time. I Huss. Money on my mind. I Huss. Why you out here sleep? I Huss. Staying in these streets. I Huss. Anything you want, you can get it. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy <laughs> ECO, and I'm here with the official Miss Jamaica. Walk on. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. Man, here we go again, man. Say, I was just, you know me, I'm real nosy on the internet and on the Instagram, and I'm looking through, and I see this young lady, and I say to myself, I got to get on this, I got to get on Boss Talk 101. And, and I hit her up, and, and she responded, and she got... A lot of hits, man. I didn't even know. You done went and researched stuff and told me stuff. I didn't even know. Mm. Just sitting here recently. I thank God that she came my way. You done dropped the jewel on us, man. Check it out, man. Judy Drama is in the building. Hey, hey, hey. It's Judy what, Drama. What, bang. Hey, what's going on? Ain't nothing. What's good with you? Man, it's good to have you. Thank you for having me. Say, man, I hope we, we aim to please. Hey. You got the beautiful Miss Jamaica here. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>, please. <laughs> Very I, much so. so. So, so you moving through the city like P. Diddy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You, uh, so, so, so you, I mean, so first thing I always ask is um, just to tell us a little bit about yourself. Cause you know, people, everybody may not know what Judy is, who Judy is, what Judy brings. Oh, for sure. Uh, well, I am originally from Long Beach, California, so, you know, I throw the West up every chance I get. Already. But I was raised in North Dallas, Royal Lane, Forest Lane, so, you know, I got the Cali, Texas thing going like on. Um, really, ain't too much to tell. I'm just, you know, I'm a mom. I'm okay. educated. Got my education down there at Clark Atlanta University. Okay. Did my thing. Uh, at the HBCU and yes, I just, sir. Yes, yeah. all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I got, got it, it popping. Yeah, you know, so after I handled my business, getting my degree in biology, I was just like, man, I want to rap. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I want to rap, man. Like, I always been in tune with my musical side. My father was a rapper. Um, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um Back then, 1970s, 1980s. What's his name? <laughs> uh, he went by Big Fred, but he's passed now. He okay. died when I was seven. But I still got his mixtape in the car. Go it's hard. crazy. Go hard. You know, just for, I, That's I know a jewel. that. Yeah. You have to keep it. You yeah. have to keep that. I feel like it's embedded in me. It's a right. jewel. You know, it's a, it's a keepsake to, you know, keep going. Like, it's well, very what's hereditary. what's crazy is that you didn't start, you didn't start thinking about it till you got older. So the thing was, I had been making music when I was younger, I just never took it seriously. You okay. know, I just felt like that's what you was supposed to do in the cafeteria, people beating on the table, the rap, you right, know, right. but I didn't take it seriously until I just kept hearing my friends say, man, this girl, she didn't blew up and I know you go harder than her or, you oh, know, really? all, that kind of stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, well, let me give it a shot, you know. Then I had uh, my best friend, Guy Rizzi, so he passed in 2018. He saw the vision for real. He's like, no, you're Judy Drummer. We're branding it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You write your own music. Like, ain't no more of that play, play, just rap for my friends. Is that like your first picture? Let me see. Is that picture on your? Is, yeah. I thought so. It is. I checked yeah. it out. I'm, yeah, I'm, everything. <laughs> yeah, I got to see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, for sure. No, no, no I got to do my research, man. So so that's that's what's up, man, you know. I love your music, love Thank your style, you, you Thank know, you. love your sound. Thank what you. really what really stuck out stuck out to me. If y'all really want to know the truth, uh, let me hear it. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm a Pimp C fan, UGK, and they let For me see sure. it. Got her put right in this seat. For I'm sure. telling you right now. The whole, yeah, I know exactly what got her here. When I seen that, then that's the newest thing she put out. When I heard what I heard, just like Smoothie Poppy was here. Mm -hmm. That UGK thing will get mm -hmm. you put right in that seat messing with me mm -hmm. because I'm a I'm, that's my, that's who my, that's my guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I so what what how did you come up with that and why? So actually, one of my producers he was coming up with a female compilation. He was just throwing his beats like you know whatever, and I skipped over it. To be what? honest, yeah, I did because it was a different beat that he had that I thought went so much harder, but I actually made the song and it sucked. 
So I was like, let me go back to these other beats. And then I just played Let Me See It a couple of times. And I was like, nah, I got pimp on here. You're going to have to finesse this shit some <laughs> kind of way. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to finesse That's this some guy. kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and then after listening to it and getting the groove, and I was just feeling like a real bad bitch when yeah, I was yeah, making yeah, yeah. it. So I was just like, mm-hmm. you know what? Let me just go ahead and do my thing. And then I got a good response from the ladies. And because Pimp is on there, it's like, you know, dudes can ride to it, too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? They got you put up yeah. in here, girl. That brought you on the boss talk right nah, there. For I sure. know exactly what you got, you got you in that seat. <laughs> you know, when I seen that, I ain't have to see nothing else. I hit you immediately. I'm like, yeah. she got to be on boss talk. <laughs> yeah, and I'm here. Man, <laughs> What's anytime. up? Yeah, anytime. man. So, so, so where did the name Judy Drama come from? Um, Well, when I went to Clark Atlanta... Everybody was calling me Big Booty Judy. The movie Atlanta had just dropped, and the part where they was all like, Judy, party? Her mama gonna let her have a party after last year? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. Know, but it was real big. Yeah. Like, I promise, after that premiere, the next day on campus, everybody, that's Big Booty Judy, that's Big Booty Judy. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go by Judy. But then I was freestyling in the shower one day, and I was like, Judy bad, Judy drama. I was like, oh, yeah, that Judy drama is gone. That's gonna stick. That's gonna like, stick. Yeah, that's for okay, sure. Okay, okay. okay. I yeah, because like when I first heard of Judy, I'm like, that's the first thing I thought about is Big <laughs> Yeah. But I'm not knowing that that's where you got it from. Yeah, that's wow. crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about none of that. Yeah. But, so let me ask you a question. I was <laughs> straight on this song. <laughs> when, when you lost your friend, um, I think his name was... Or- that's I'm, the one she I'm, Arista. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it wrong because I know Arista. No, you good. Arista, Arista R.I.P. Arista. Um, Thank you. Because when I was reading up about you and about how close y'all were, I know that must have really took you really hard. Oh man, that crushed me. So, my question to you is because a lot of people out here who have lost loved ones, who've mm-hmm. lost people who are close, how do you overcome that to move on? Because he was by your side during this journey. And not to give up from this journey, but keep pushing. You know what I mean? Um, Because some people have given up. Yeah, some people have. And I kind of, before he passed, I was kind of like in limbo anyway. Because before he passed, um, he was on house arrest. So Mm -hmm. it was like, I'm free. He's, you know, at home. And I can only do so much, you know, with feeling motivated and wanting to go talk to DJs, club promoters. But this is this is the guy who's been doing all the talking. But, you know, life happens. He get caught up and now he on house arrest. And fast forward, you know, he passes away. And I'm like, fuck it. I ain't supposed to be rapping in. We was already at a standstill. Then he passed away. What was, what, how, did he, how did he pass away? Um, He actually just had a heart attack at home. How old is Yeah. He? Uh, he was 29. Wow. Yeah, he was 29. I take that Young. to heart because my daddy, like I said, who was rapping, he died on, on his 30th birthday. So that's why I'm like, nah, it's the water for me. I'll be 30 next month. <laughs> like, right. I'm trying you to, know what? Trying you to know keep what? it pushing you remember, what, you remember when I went running when, when my partner, my cousin died? Mm-hmm. And he, was, he was 40, so I was like, man, let me go running. So mm-hmm. shout, out, shout out to, uh, to build your Judy health up, yeah. you Drama because I'm about to get back on my water. We can get some yeah. water by that break. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm... Thank you. That's definitely what no, it I was. drink a lot of it anyway, yeah. but I'm putting a lot of other stuff Except that for, I don't yeah. need to be doing. You, you know, put it down. Yeah, yeah, because it be these sweets be good, man. And and they all be good, this, but they, they be, be bad. Good. Yeah, they be good and bad at the same yeah, time. Anything that's too that tastes too good is it's not, not good for you, good right? For you, mm-hmm. not yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, but how did you so, after all of that? Yeah, so after he passed away, you know, everybody. All of our mutual friends was just like, nah, like, this is the time. Like, he would be turning in his grave if he knew you just stopped rapping all because, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Like, this should be motivation. And then after that, I just was like dropping freestyle after freestyle, you know, writing, doing features. It was like whatever. And then all of a sudden, I'm like motivated out of nowhere. At first, I was doing it because I felt like I had to keep his name and his legacy going. But then I started coming into myself as an artist like, well, he was a male. I'm a female. I got to, like, find my own identity with this. I can't be the female Arista. I, ju- I just have to be Judy Drama. You know right. what I'm saying? So the way I the way I move past it is just using his death as, like, a stepping stool. Like, he would be pissed if I didn't, mm-hmm. you know, Correct. keep it up. Were you, you know? signed to his entertainment label? No, 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 no. No paperwork was ever actually done. It was just kind of like really? some neighborhood shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what about, like, uh, what, did you have, did you get another manager? 
No, nah, I never had a manager. Oh, ever. You never have. No, nah, he was just. I'm gonna fix that today. I'm, I'm with oh, for you. Sure. You hear me? I'm gonna start. Yeah, VRM is a movement. I'm looking. I'm looking awesome. every time. Awesome. Yeah, nah. yeah. I'm gonna be helping. I'm one ba- one uh, one man band down uh-huh, here. Uh-huh, I'm gonna get in there. <laughs> from, from and you and you from the, with the LBC. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You from the LBC? Yeah, I got a lot of investors, but don't nobody like I got I got my oldest brother. He invests every music video. He like just tell me how much it costs. I'm gonna send, it, yeah. I'm gonna send you whatever, yeah, yeah. whatever. He out, of, you, he out of Cali. No, nah, he here okay. in Dallas. But you get that man to talking about some paperwork and business. Yeah, man, I ain't finna do all that shit. Here go the money, like all that other stuff. You gotta figure that. out. But those you his stuff. sister, so he know you're not gonna rip him off. Yeah, exactly. He, don't, and and he, he really don't the, care. Right. He see the fruits of the labor. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. When let me see it drop, he he just paid. You know, he saw like everybody else it, when it premiered on YouTube. He was like, God damn, my money going to good it, use. No, and no, I'm no, like, no, keep how many siblings? How many siblings do you have? I have in total six. Six brothers. I'm the only girl of six wow. brothers. Wow. So you don't need no manager. No, I'm I don't know what I I don't know what I need at this I'm gonna point. I'm going to be honest with you man. Um I, I like what you're doing. I am more trying to link people together cuz I know so many people yeah, coming through sure. this platform. So I'm just like okay, this girl here she good and these these people here they good and they all got followers and mm-hmm. that's really it's just cross marketing yeah. really. And and just trying to make sure that you make the best possible music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You're doing great, you know. Thank you. And and the thing I say is just just keep grinding. Consistency is key and be creative enough to keep some content that just keeps you in the sight of the people that yeah. watch you. Yeah. And be creative think, to be you and not anybody else. Right. Well, you're already doing that. Yeah. I think, I think yeah. you're doing that. I think yeah. you got it. I think she's, I think she's killing it, mm-hmm. but I think you just have to have something. It's a, it's a thing you have to do for the people that's there for you. Right. Those right, people right. that's watching for you. Right. I think because of the way that the market is now, I think we have to, you have to keep them. If it ain't nothing but a joke or something, if they just seeing you, it got to be yeah. something that you find in your artistic way to keep the people captivated and right. then get them with the music. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely, it, definitely. But keep it within your brand. Keep no, 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 no. It yeah, not, keep it within your brand, and, but you know, in a certain way. It yeah, gotta be so, tasteful, right? Right. Yeah, all right. of that. So that's what I meant. Like when I had to basically, you know, what I'm saying that's why I should get be your manager. You see that? <laughs> so you I'm a brain. I'm a brain. You need someone who say, hey. You need to be posting this and this time. Correct. Giving you ideas. Right. Exactly. Like because I'm trying to tell from. y'all, like, trying to be a rapper on top of being a, a mother. Mom, I know they got to be tough. On top of being a girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend a daughter, daughter, whatever. Yeah. whatever. I'm just like, and I got to post some shit, too. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like. But you, but you got to have a, uh, you got to make that happen because you, the people, they see what you're doing. It's very professional. Now you got to make that happen all the time. All the time. See, that's like that video that you just dropped. Mm-hmm. That got to be happening like all the, all time. the time. I'm being yeah. real. Like, no, I not, know. <laughs> I mean, and, and then you got to have like, see that guy right there that yeah. I got. You got to have you one of them. Yeah. Because when you go to the booth, or wherever you go, you got to be able to show the people that something. It's a documentary yeah. type setup. Yeah. You got six brothers. You can draft one. No, yeah. they ain't gonna do that. See, that's the They're thing though. My my, I got two little brothers out there in Cali. They doing they rap thing too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. And then I got my my brothers out here. Like everybody, they just want to show up. You know, they the the leg work, their support is watching the baby or here yeah. go your cash app. Yeah. But all that other stuff you talking about, we gotta we gotta find somebody else to I do that. Told you. <laughs> I think the main thing is to have somebody that can tell you you got to get it done this way or you got. And I got I got I got a situation. We'll talk. We'll yeah. talk. Okay, I mean, for sure. where it'll be something to where you know. People who are, I'm not going. I'm gonna tell you that. Now. <laughs> See, I'm a, no, like no, but I got somebody. I, I got going. somebody that 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 worked with me in VRM. Okay. That and and then I got camera. I got everything. Yeah, for sure. You see what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta you gotta document this movement. Yeah. Now and then we gotta find a creative way to edit to where it's something to where you always yeah. out there professionally. I'm yeah. being real. Yeah, for sure. Because it's free to and TikTok going crazy. You may do one yeah. little thing that may go crazy Viral. on TikTok. Yeah. And then you already talented and then boom it come right after it's, that. Yeah. But yeah. you gotta be working. You gotta be working. And that's <laughs> what I'm finding out is just like my my mornings are early. My my nights is late. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and yeah. it's, it it has nothing to do with being a parent because my baby easy. You know, yeah. but it's just like everything in between that, yeah. and I still got to give him his time. Yeah. So it's just like you can't stop working, especially I got the momentum now, and I can I can't even lie. When I performed last week. I, I think I've seen it. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was my first time performing since you know yeah, pandemic, since, okay. whatever, whatever. How was it? It was great. 
Great Already. turnout. Yeah. You know, people in the crowd rocking out. Yeah. Some yeah. of the people know the words. Yeah. That, it's time. That, you know what I'm it's saying? Time. That went through. Mm-hmm. And then when my, um, I do got a camera dude. You know what I'm saying? He come out, whatever. He uh, came out on GP and was just was getting B-roll of all deep L. Correct. And Jonathan. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion hairstylist, mm-hmm. uh, Scissor hairstylist mm-hmm, mm-hmm. pulled up like, you know what you got that camera for? And he was like, Judy Drama, she performing that club. Dot. He was really? like, fucking, I'm gonna give her a drop. And I'm like, dang, that's you don't know me or nothing, no, no, man. No, you just, just gonna no, that's come favor. through. No, that's God. favor. That's I'm God. like, God is always he, he, where yeah. I can't be. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't even know that. He might not be there when you want him, but he always uh, right on time, time. man. Exactly. For for sure. time, God. For sure. So you still do a full time job as well, right? Oh no, ma'am. Oh, so you gave that up? I gave that up. Like I tell people all the time, this pandemic was such a blessing to me. I got laid got off. Got some risks, right? And got some risks. Yeah, I got some risks. You know, um, I had just found out my son he has autism. You know what I'm saying? Very. How old is uh, he? He's four. Okay. Um, mild on the spectrum. Very. You know what right, I'm saying? Because, Couldn't even tell right, type thing. Right, right. But um, having a job don't allow me to get him what he needs. You know, if he got to be at ABA therapy, speech therapy, all of this stuff at 830, I can't be trying to get to a job at 8. You know, no, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. You know, the so thing, that, that's dead. The thing I can say is on that Let Me See It video, going back to that because that's where I be at. Um, <laughs> he on this uh, Let listen. Me See I love the way that your creativity was, to be honest with oh, you. thank you. I mean, far as the setup and, 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 and the clothes that you guys was wearing, the way the style, whoever styled that, yeah, um, thank you. you did a good job. I mean, that's what you see a lot of times. Girls don't pre-think it or guys don't pre-think it right. clearly. You got it right. Yeah, and I like Ooh, that appreciate part. it. I mean, the thing I can say is the colors pop things that I was seeing mm-hmm. in the video, the way that you, I mean, the, the, the song was already banging, but you guys put together a nice piece of work. Thank you. Shout out to Pentacan Films, man. They made yeah. my vision come all the way alive. That's what's, that's what's up. All the way alive. I didn't want to shoot no more videos outside, you know, the yeah. apartments. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I'm cool with that for yeah. certain songs, but not this one. Like, I think, I think it was nice. I wanted some real production, and they really gave me yeah. what I wanted, and I freaked out when I seen that final yeah, copy. No, no, I was I like, oh, that's you, me. You killed that, man. <laughs> you know, and I loved it. And it got, but guess what? You got, in order to be a star, you got to do it over and, and over, over and again. over again. You can't do it one time. Man. You got to get past, get over that quick. Right. And but you got to beat that the next time. Yeah. I, I'm being I, I real. I was just about to say that. You now set your own bar. Bar. No. Yeah. You, you can't, can't go, go backwards. Back <laughs> no. You got to go up from now That's on. That's why I need I mean, some more money. I'm telling, no, no, no. I'm telling you right now. You got to go up. And, and also, you got to make sure that, that, that you come hard with, with, with whatever project you're doing. You can't. I mean, you got to look better than uh, a Cardi B. Yeah. you like, I'm being real. Yeah. You got to look better than Megan. I don't care about where they at. Yeah. You got to do it now. Yeah. And that's why people mess it up. You you trying to, oh, well, I'm here on this. No. I'm going to wait till I get no. there. No. You got to do it right now. Right now, like it's already yeah. happened. Yeah. Everybody always asks me, who your, who your top five female rappers? I be like, Judy Drama, Judy Drama, Judy oh, Drama. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> like, I'm influenced by a lot of great women. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. top five no, favorite no, rapper, no, definitely no. me. No, like, you did mm-hmm. a good job, man. I, I just love the fact that you was, you from the LBC and you in Texas. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, I took my wife up there. We went over to... Uh, I met Nipsey, mm-hmm. um, Ben the Slauson. She actually opened for Nipsey when he you was did? here. You did? When he was here? I did that. That yeah. last time he was here? Um, It was about four years ago. No, five years ago. Well, he definitely, I met him at the Palms Hotel, but really talk with him, chop it up with him type stuff. Well, he was at Gas Monkey. Yeah, yeah. I think that was when he was here a little. Was that the last time? I don't know, because I was back and forth between Atlanta before his passing, so I, I can't remember if he, you know, after Gas Monkey, he, he, performed he performed again. again or not. Performed okay. again. I didn't. I think that, that might have been the last time. I have to go back and look. I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah, that um, that Nipsey Hustle show was. Yeah, but how was it? You got to meet him and everything. No, oh. I didn't. It was it was incredible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, like we was all under uh, Good Cake and Good Cake. They them some hood niggas, like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that it, it was a situation where the DJ was trying to be, you know, cut our time down. It was like five of us, you know, who needed to perform, I paid did. all our paid all our money and everything. And yeah. we were the gas monkey. They had a mic with a wire, and they was gonna try to make Nipsey perform on that. So they saw that we came with a wireless mar- uh, w- wireless uh, mic. mic. 
Cause I wish that he was really invested. Like I want to sound good. We got to look good. All yeah. this other stuff. Yeah. So all the other acts before us was performing on the uh, mic with the wire. We came with the wireless. Like DJ still tried and still cut our time. Not tried to still cut our time. Wow. He had flew me out from Atlanta, so that pissed him off even more. But he had already said Nipsey. Of course Nipsey can use my mic. Man, after we performed, he said, "Man, we getting the fuck up out of here. They ain't using our mic. We ain't using nothing." Because of the like, way they treated you, right? Because the way they treated us, and I was like, "Dang, I really wanted to make Nip." Yeah, he yeah, was just yeah. like, "Next time," and I'm like, oh, "Man, See, you never know. There the was fuck? no next time." Man, hey, so, um, go ahead, sweetheart. So, um, I've been looking through your YouTube it's and me. your own channel, and I noticed that okay, you started three years ago, and you would only post videos i know you did features here and there mm -hmm. and they're probably not on your page mm -hmm. but for your own personal own personal i saw you did one in three years ago then you did one two years ago and then all of a sudden nine months ago you're pushing them back back to back, back, to, back, back. to back so, so that so that explain that three, that. that three year two year time span is moving from atlanta back to dallas and our wrist stay dying you okay. know and then that very first video pull up on chuck it was just like i didn't even know i could shoot a music video so i was like living off that for a minute and then i kind of stopped you know it was just really on and off but then um like i said after his passing i was just like it's it's gas time like i gotta go I got to I got to keep pushing this stuff but that that gap right there was really me trying to figure out do I want to continue to work in corporate America do I want to keep checking people's eyes and doing LASIK surgery for a living right. or do yeah. I want to rap like that's what that was And it's so weird cuz we've met so many rappers who came through that has a college degree university degree it's, and it's they very still, popular right mm -hmm. now and they still went rapping and I loved it because I've seen over the years of watching rappers, famous rappers go back to school after they've already reached the heights of right. their career. They still went back to school, get their university degree, right. bachelor's degree, whatever. Right. And I'm like, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I I I always believe education is first. I ain't never missed a day of school. I ain't never got suspended. Like when all my friends was talking about, I ain't going to school today. No, I have to go to school. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You like do, you, you gotta do a song about yeah, that. Yeah, I love Did going to school. You gotta do a song about going to school. <laughs> I ain't. No, no, like something something Some to help the kids. The, yeah, yeah cause, to make them motivated. Yeah, because that'll like, help them. Let me ask you a question. How was it working with uh, Erica Banks? Oh, it was perfect. I mean, that was a great. I like that. I I, I love that. You know, to yeah. throw it. It, 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 it seemed perfect. like it seemed like it was something that you guys worked out real well together. It was perfect. It was organic. And shout out to having a college degree. I met her brother out there in Clark Atlanta University. He a Q. That's, awesome. that's what's up. He a Q dog. He a Q. I'm, I'm the Reds. Yeah, you know, she, that's what he is. He a Q. Oh, what's up, bro? You know. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. There yeah. you go. That game. <laughs> ain't no game related. That is, baby. Nah, I'm the that 27 is. from Sigma chapter, spring 12. And um, I had I had met him at school, but when we all graduated, came back to Dallas or whatever, I had uh, linked up with him on Instagram, and he was just like, man, I ain't know you. Like like I said, I didn't do anything with my music in Atlanta, so people are just like, what the hell? She was walking around on campus with right. all that ass and wasn't doing nothing. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, so I got back to Dallas, and he seen me drop a freestyle and he was like, yeah, my little sister be rapping her name, Erica. And you I thought it was his know. play sister, but I'm like, I start following her, her mama. I'm like, oh, this is real sister. Like, That's you know, man, I asked for hey, that. God, good. Yeah, it's so That's good. It. Keep saying it over and over. No, for real. <laughs> it's, it's, and that's why I'm trying to figure out, like, that's why you can't tell God what your plan is because he's going right. to laugh at you because all this shit was a setup. Like, I already me, know. I already feel like you got to go to Clark Atlanta so you can meet her brother. So then when you ask for a feature, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, well, you know what I'm saying? All that shit was and in my so, mind. It's so funny because <laughs> um, our daughters say the same thing. She's like, she wants to go to university, but she says she's not even going to university for. Um, education, so to say, network. is it's networking. It's yeah. who you know and who can help you to get where you need to exactly. be. Exactly. Not to say she's not going to take education. Seriously, she's a um, straight A student and mm -hmm. all of that, and she's never going to settle for less than that. Mm -hmm. But she know her main purpose is okay. Who can I meet? Who can I meet up there? And so I wish I went down there with that mentality mm -hmm. because I missed out on so lot. I was just so focused on my school. grandma said this school costs one hundred thousand dollars a year. I bet not come back without no degree, you know. <laughs> but so my first year and a half, I'm just school cafeteria dorm school 
school cafeteria mm-hmm. dorm, you know, and then I realized, like, hell no, nah, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, get yourself out there, you're going to have to mingle with the people on the promenade. You're going to have to talk to the people. You're going to have to, you know, do stuff on campus. And it life changed after that. Like, I stayed in Atlanta for three more years after I graduated, you know. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I I just I I love the fact of how these these young people are coming through here, educated and rapping. It's yeah. been going on, and they're not ashamed of it either. Nah, like, you know, back in the day, that was something that people they they didn't show that. Yeah. You remember? You yeah, know, I ain't go to school. Nah, I'm, I'm a hustler. Hustle. Nah, I'm a hustler. But yeah, uh, but you can do yeah. all of that and go to school because after school, I'm braiding people hair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I do to make the money for the rap. Is oh, I got really? a whole home salon. Really. Mm-hmm. That's Tranquility what's up. Trap. That's popping. We might try. Out. <laughs> we might pop. It, it, Only this? braids. I can't do that. <laughs> what she got going on? I'm managing. We, we might. We, I'm managing now. I gotta meet up brothers though. These niggas might not act right. These niggas gonna be real, real protective over their sister. So. Yeah, for sure. I think shout, the, what's the niggas' name? Let me go and shout them out. Uh, we got Daniel. Daniel, what's up, baby? <laughs> Josh. Josh, what's up, baby? <laughs> Julian. Julian, what's up, baby? <laughs> Charles. Charles, what's up? I'm family now. <laughs> Fred. Fred. Greg. Damn, it's a lot of Greg. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. All yeah, she's protected. Greg. Hey, man, let me, let me let y'all know Julie something now. Josh look, look man, yeah. y'all, if, if I'm going to be. You are protected. Listen, yeah, if I'm going to put sure. my money in with y'all money, you niggas going to have to act right. Don't try to play me, niggas. I, I'm, hey, I ain't going to. I'm not trying to hear it. Man, <laughs> they just, they just want to see it. <laughs> they they don't want no problem. They oh, just want to see. But I'm just so, I'm, and that's good that they all support you. you oh know? yeah, yeah. That's, like that's good. Especially Charles and Fred. They got bars. So growing yeah. up, it was like competition. competition. And then my uncle Jojo would be like, "That's why y'all sister rap better than y'all." <laughs> and now you're like, oh, I'm like, and they in Cali. Yeah, they both in Cali. Yeah. Oh, they talk with that homie talk. Yeah, homie. Like, yeah, homie. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Yeah. Like, I'm still better than you. That's what Jojo said. <laughs> Man, that's beautiful, bro. So what's up? What's up with the rags to riches, Jew mix? What was that? Was that uh, in the car like that? What was that about? Rags to riches. Shout out to Tara Baby for shooting that for me. Um. I just felt like it was time for people to hear the vulnerable side, the stuff that I keep inside, the stuff that I really don't talk about. And because it, it had been a couple of times where, like, my brother would be like, yeah, my sister, you know, rap, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I checked it out, but all she do is talk about her cat and woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and I'm like, man, no, I don't. You know what I'm saying? But that's what y'all going to listen to first. Yeah, like, yeah. every time somebody try to get y'all some real shit first, y'all be like, I don't like that old, you know, whatever. Yeah. You know, then got somebody got to present themselves ratchetly. Then you, you follow up on their, you know, bars. But I just felt like it was time for me to be a little more transparent in what I do. And one, how Arista's death made me feel. Two, you know. That's a why. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, my little brother Daniel, he is special needs and okay. he has seizures. He um he's he'll he'll be eighteen this year. That's what's up. And I'm just always like I've never really spoke out about him because I've just you know how it is when you got a special person in your heart, you don't want if somebody said the You're wrong thing, about you, it. yeah. it's it's a wrap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. My son too, he has autism. So one word, one wrong thing, I'm just yeah. It ain't I, I can't bargain with you, you know. But, but, um, but I feel like the world needed to hear it because mm-hmm. after that, it was more people coming out like I got a little, you know, my son has autism. Can you help me? That's or, what I was just about know, to say. You know, right. you, become, me, the, you, become, you know, right, Jesse, it, yeah. Jesse, it just got. Yeah. But then you know what? Too with autism, doesn't music also help them with Man. therapy really well? I take him to the studio you, with right, me. Right, that will yeah, that will help a mm-hmm. lot. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So even whether you get him to play, because there are, what you say, classical pianists mm-hmm. who, who are, are autistic, autistic yeah. because yeah. they hear music differently, differently from, I mean, very keenly yeah. than we do. Yeah. So, But you know what I'm saying? Like that autism is it's a, it's a label, not a limit, because my baby, yeah. he, ta- he, he counted Spanish, he counted English. That, that YouTube, and he's only four. He's only four. He'll be five in June. Wow. That YouTube, that's that's, that's a bad that's boy. Some shit right there. That's a bad I realize boy. that university in itself. That's a bad boy. Like, that's a bad when boy. You start counting Spanish. That's a bad boy. <laughs> so, you know, but I just feel like with Rags to Riches, it was time for people to, you know, see that side of Judy drama. Like, yeah, I'm. I got cheated on. I'm the rest of you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I, I ain't exempt from real life. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, <laughs> no, my I car get. don't work. Is more, <laughs> like, more of that to come? Yeah. What? 
that oh, real that real yeah. yeah hell yeah that's where it's at too and not hell just there yeah. but like i told you, you gotta you gotta set the bar now yeah what, what's up with regal Re- buick regal what, what is that all about oh man that was my car that didn't work i love that's that car. i love the buick regals baby you, li- listen that buick regal a bad boy Which, what model did you have no it was 2011 it was okay, more you know yeah, it was okay. a new one i like you that know, old boy I, though I, I, I do too <laughs> you know what i'm saying but buick regal that buick meant a lot to me that was first car i got in my name by myself no co-signer you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um and, and, and I, I drove it from Atlanta back to Dallas, and it got me through till I got my new car. You oh, know what I'm really? saying? But I fuck with that Buick. That Regal, Buick Regal so beast, man. It, 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 I know it took you there, didn't it? It took me there. <laughs> it took me there. Like it's kind of like that little old. Uh, Akira Legend that I had. Hey, that was man. my first car. I had to get rid of that thing. Man. I loved my sunroof and everything. Man, oh, I still I got it. the key to my Buick just in case I see somebody out riding. Oh, you're going to drop in that thing, man. Right? <laughs> so, so, drive so, off in my shit. What's, what's the new? Well, you want to you wanna ask? Oh, what's the new project that we can look forward to seeing you come out with? Um, the next one. Yeah. Give us, give uh, us a little, project, little bit of that exclusive, man. Uh, next project is the whole EP, man. Next month. Okay. It's dropping in April. When? When is uh, it? I haven't chose the date yet because my birthday April 22nd. Y'all invited to my birthday party April 24th. Yeah. It's, it's going to be Digital University. It's going to be something mm, to I'm, see. Well, I'm going to be busy that day. Wow. I, I got it's going to be at night time. 9 we'll to 12. See. After yeah. party ecstasy. Oh, nine to twelve. Well, that's mm. hey, that's late. Let me let me ask you this. <laughs> Man, late for who? Not y'all young. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> for me, I'm old. Listen. So, are we going? Are, are we going? You going to bring? You going to have some t-shirts and some stuff? We going to push it this time. This yeah, one? It's, it's, I can bring it on the show and throw me a t-shirt on when it when it drops. Hey man, what I want is all of pink? that. Whatever color you want to. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. For you, it's going to be pink because you know <laughs> yeah. that's your yeah, already see we, what we kind of colors I'm rocking with. You know. Yeah. Um. Still, still and I got searching for too. A, for a show. Yeah. Uh. Still searching for a um. For a name, I'm I'm in between two names right now. Or for, for the for the EP, EP, but it's definitely dropping. I feel like it's time. I feel like my hood been waiting on it since I was mm-hmm. rapping at the cafeteria table. Like I got people hit me up all the time. Like I still go back to my space and listen to a million. Woo, woo, woo. you should have been had a tape. And I'm like, man, Tommy, it's Cause everything. Cause you remixed that. Yeah, I did. Yes. I did. I yeah. remixed the shit out of Millie. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what? What um. So here, here's what I want to ask you. Yes, sir. And this here is a serious question too, and I, and 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 I want you to think about it before you answer it. Yes, sir. Um, top three artists, dead or alive, of all times, any genre don't matter to me, but it just got to be three. Um, and what order? Two chains, first, foremost, always. Two chains. I you see him on the that's wall the with me up there. Chains. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's my boy right there. Then who oh, else? Look at all these people. Who else? Um. Lil Wayne, number two. Lil Wayne, you know okay. what? You my dog. Yeah. Then listen, two times you hear that? For, for you hear that? Show. I want you to listen. He from Can- Missouri. <laughs> I like to say Kansas, Missouri. He don't know. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, number three. Number three. Missy Elliott. Man. Nice selection, man. So you said number one was Two, two Chains. Always. Number two was Lil Wayne. Lil, Lil Wayne. Wayne. And Missy. number three was Missy Elliott, yeah. man. That's your top three right there, guys. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Love the selection. Why Two Chains? What 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 is up so different about him? What makes it? I could go on and on about mm. Two Chains. I mean, let me know. Is it- I be calling myself Jew Chains because I love him so oh, much. So, but- <laughs> so what's, the, what's, what's the thing that makes him? The- um, One, I just... When I got to Atlanta, they style of music was real different from me. I'm, you know, I'm from Dallas, so we boogieing through the door, all kind of shit. Yeah, so, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm, saying? I'm hearing two chains with, you know, Travis Porter on remixes and yeah. shit like that. I'm like, man, this is this. If I don't do nothing, I'm about that's him. You know what I'm saying? Like he's snapping now. You know? Yeah. So his bars got better. And I saw that every couple of years, Two Chain started rebranding himself. You know what I'm saying? For him to Beast go, Beast mode. Yeah, for him to go from Titty Boy to Two Chain yeah. to you know what I'm saying. Now he Tony. Like I'm like, and I'm in love with Tony. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so it's and just, you've never met him before. I have met him. You that's have. what put the icing on the cake. Wow. Working at the doctor's office. That's why I feel like God, you know, be playing wow. chess while I'm playing checkers. I used to work at a doctor's office in Atlanta. I like that. And his mama came through. 
And that's another reason why I fell in love with him. He put his family first. His mama had a real important doctor's appointment. He pulled he up there. with her. You know what I'm saying? Aww. He, you know, he wanted to know from from check in to check out what's going on with his mama. I just so happened to be the person who worked her up. Yeah, wow. I finessed that. I, know wow. that. I was just like, ooh. <laughs> but, his you mama know, her. but you didn't know who she was, though. No, you? the first time she came in, she was by herself. But mm-hmm. when the big decisions needed to be made, he was there, you know? So I knew she was coming. So I knew that this day at work, I'm going to be 30 minutes early. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take her chart and I'm going to finesse, you know, getting in the room with two chains. When I got in there, he he was, you know, he was still focused on his mom, but his mom was like, this young lady is so nice. I was pregnant with my son at the time. You know, I was, I, with You think you remember it? I know he remembered it, because it was, it was, it was. Organic. It was organic, and it was for 30 minutes, and it was such an important, you know what I'm saying? Did he know, did he know that you rap? Nah, he didn't. He didn't say. Well, I'm gonna run into that boy again when I but, do. I'm gonna put it on his mind. Are you gonna do it? We yeah, gonna, we yeah, gonna we, get. Nah, we'll go, no, wait a minute. Uh-uh. That was I'll not go, our no, last No, no, no. I go get that <laughs> nigga. I go get that nigga. Go get him. You know, now, two chain. Let me tell you something, man. Mm-hmm. These people are not untouchable. I know because so, he was in the same room with me. I'm telling you, know you that saying? right now. But for um, it's Jamaica. The only reason why I ain't pushed the issue about oh yeah, cause I rap because he was there for his mama. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's not about me in this point, and I know people remember that. Like right. my my time to talk to Two Chains about my music will it's gonna be a full circle moment, you know. And then when I do bring it up, yeah, we was in the room and you told me to go wash my hands again before I touch your mama's eyes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's he ain't gonna back. forget that. No, no, it's coming he back. Forget that. Just like when we took that picture, to be honest with you, I was in there and I was doing my thing and you know I got on that whole True outfit mm-hmm. and he had did that album cover with that True on it. So, yeah. so, so basically that True album, it was during the same time yeah. and I was there, it was French Montana, it was, it was a bunch of us. It was uh, the girl that played on Friday. That's that same time I bet when I took that other picture with the girl that played on Friday mm-hmm. and we all was there and uh, me and him were walking by each other. I was like, man, let's get a pick. And he was like, man, I got to get on this thing with you, man. You wearing the true and everything. Everything. It, it excited the heck yeah. out of it. Man. So, so that, shout out to 2 Chain, man. Real cool cat. Yeah. So so we going to link up back with him together. Yeah, yeah we. Me and hey, you. Man. I'm to together. The to, to the top. 2 Chain, you heard us. <laughs> we coming sure. for you. But yeah, so that's why, you know, 2 Chains was just a, my first, ex- and I've never been starstruck. Like, oh, you you I, were starstruck? No, that's what I'm saying. So. <laughs> but nah, we can't have that. Not if I'm a manager. We already <laughs> bossed up. We can't be looking all crazy. <laughs> nah, for sure. I wasn't starstruck because I always have an understanding that this is a human too, you know Correct. what I'm saying? And in that moment, just the, just the atmosphere, he's here with his mom, so it's just like, I don't even see 2 Chains, I see Ty. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, I don't shook know up you, the stars. but... Yeah, you know We that, shake up the stars. Yeah, like, I ain't with Period. you. Period. I, I yeah. done shook them up before. I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, ever, hey, don't, ever, don't let them boss up on you. Nah, ever. My first celebrity, I met Indy I.R.E. when I was nine. That's what I'm talking about. Did wow. you boss up on them? I did. I said, hey... What's up with it? Excuse me, miss. <laughs> Are you India I.R.E.? She said, why, yes, I am. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, yeah. let me get my luggage. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> like I'm a kid. Like, but whatever. that's what's up. So, um, I got to ask you this. Um, what, if there's a little nine-year-old, funny you just said that, mm-hmm. and you want to, uh, and, 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 well, she can be a little older, about 13, 12. Okay. She want to rap. She yeah. want to get into it. Uh, what would, because that's what this platform is about. Mm-hmm. It's about helping the kids and people, because everybody want to rap. You know how many of them it is. Yeah. It's oversaturated. Everybody. Yeah. What would you say to that little girl so that you would give her something that she would remember to, that would help her? Do it. Just do it? Do it. Because nobody, nobody told me to do it until I was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, so if you're having those conversations with yourself, you know, your mom tell you to go to sleep and you watching TV, but you really think about rapping, you need to be, in, everybody got a phone or a tablet now. I had a journal, you know? Already. So just, I had the flashlight rapping, 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 you know? You just got to yeah. do it because eventually somebody going to see what you're doing, That's you know? So. Um but while you're doing it, always remain who you are and don't try to be like nobody else. If there's Judy Drama talk about her cootie cat, you can't be nine years old trying to rap like Judy Drama. That's you right. got to be, you know, rapping about the playground or doing yeah. your friend's hair or yeah. going to the jump world or whatever the, the kids do these uh-huh. days. Yeah, I like it. But, um, but that would be my first. That would be my first and only thing is to you. You just got to do it. You know, agree hundred percent. That's something. Um, that that's good. Um, 
So where can people link up with you at? What's your Instagram? Instagram. What's your uh, YouTube? What's all? Everything. Give, give us your handle. Everything. At J-U-D-Y-D-R-A-M-A. Judy Drummond. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get with the you know the Instagram. I'm on there a little bit more, but the, I'm definitely it. gonna respond to them DMs before I go <laughs> you got like to. a comment yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So, but that's how you can reach me. Um, I got my email attached to my Instagram. Okay. Um, you can send messages anywhere now okay. on YouTube, Facebook Messenger. All of that is I'm I'm there, and I'm well, gonna be res- I'm gonna be very responsive. Dang. So, um, anything else you did you have for Miss Judy? Drama? No, baby, that's it. You sure? <laughs> mm-hmm. Be honest now. She got she here. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, she now she did her research, man. She yeah, went she, back. Yeah, I yeah, said, yeah, dang. Yeah, yeah. Now we gotta get you. We got we got we gotta make it to where people can understand the work that you put in. Cause you do, you got a a, a a just a good great amount of work, and Thank it looks you. like you put a lot into it. And that's what drew me to you as well. You know, I didn't. You, you had a lot of stuff that you had been working on. Yes, shows that you care you. about what you're doing. I do. I do. You know, and that's true. that's what you gotta have content. Yeah. Now we gotta just get you up on this Instagram, yeah. this TikTok. You know, I link you up with the people who it's some it's some heavy hitters. We've been talking to them. Okay. And they know exactly they what they're breaking do. the mm-hmm. algorithm when it comes to these platforms. Mm-hmm. You have to sink in with people who know. You gotta know in order to do it. Exactly. You can't do it just by you know that. Hey, listen. I watched Erica and that bus it, it didn't happen till she signed with mm-hmm. you see that? And I was so mad because Did you hear what uh, I just said? Yeah. Till she signed. Me me and Erica, she made bus it a week after we made throw it. Who else said mm-hmm. that the other week? That that that, that she made a was song. It peace? Was it peace? I think it was the peace. Yeah. Or was it no I, I don't know. It was if somebody said that they made the song that it was it was it was P, Dallas P. Oh, okay. Dallas P said he made his song was playing in the club when hers was playing in the club, and that was not just recently. That was that an was, older song. That was a year ago. We That's made, right. We made throw it. We made throw it in 20, December twenty nineteen. Yeah. So and then right after that, she was you know shooting her first video to bust it. You know what I'm saying? Then whatever happened, like they was just like, I got, nah, I got to get this. It only takes yeah. one song. It only takes one. Take one. one. But you know what? We we got to get this platform up because I need her on. The, I need her on this show. Yeah. But but I'm, I'm being real. Yeah. It, and the only way I'm gonna do it is C gonna have to see the numbers that mm-hmm. they they undeniable. Right. Mm-hmm. And and to be honest with you, like I say, I got the text where I, I hit her up early on. Yeah. That you were gonna be good, and she said, "Thank you so much." Yeah. 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 I'm watching everything. Yeah. And I'm I, I'm just trying to see. Oh, yeah. She looked back to me. She was a she got lyrics, you know. Yeah. So no, definitely. That's why I hit her up for throw. It like throw was so easy, you know. I had already had a song out with my other home girl, but we, you know, we're not a group. You know, we not city girls or nothing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she's doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. But I wanted uh, to create another song with another female. But I didn't want to give the people the impression that it's always every time Judy is on the track with another female, it's golden ego, and people start confusing us for a group and we're two individual artists mm-hmm. so i'm like let me go back to Devrick's sister you know what yeah. has she been doing yeah, yeah 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 man i probably liked every hundred some post she had at the time like this all go hard this all go hard. and then i got on her youtube subscribe to that and i'm like nah this girl can rap i'm finna jump in her dms and yeah. see how much it costs to get a feature and she yeah. showed love and i'm like man look it was perfect it was Already. perfect. You were about to say something earlier. I seen you. I, I know, seen but you. I and I, with the T on it, though. Like they, or, I seen Sink. you. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm from Texas, you. man. Yeah. I forgot what it you was. You forgot? That's why you be trying to go so fast. You like, I'm going to get it I'm out. I'm going to forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to get it out. Like my boyfriend. <laughs> Talk about some, I, I had something to say, but you just kept yeah, talking yeah, and I lost it. Uh, like, man, shut your ass up. Remember it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I be trying to make notes, but sometimes I can't remember yeah. everything. I just, I, like I said, I, I, I wish you the best of luck, oh, man. man. I, I you. wish you blessings. You know, I wish you so, so many blessings. You know, you got to put God first. That's the foundation Always. of everything. Always. Everything you do, I don't care what you're doing. And then don't don't let nobody ever have you feeling like you disattached from God because he loves you no matter yeah, what. Definitely. No matter where you at, no matter what you're doing, he loves you right through it. I can All promise you that. I know that. And I feel it every yeah. single time. Every time I feel like, uh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. He no, showed no, me a sign no, like, no, no, you definitely yeah, should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep he loves going. You. He loves you through it. And yeah. everybody else want to say something about, about this it. or mm-hmm. that. But he loves you right through it. And he knows Perfect. where you're at. 
Yeah. So he'll grow you as you go. Yeah. Don't let don't him trip. I know. Don't even trip. I know. You, and something you said <laughs> earlier, and I'm gonna use it. He said, she said, I was playing checkers where God was playing, playing chess. chess. Mm-hmm. I love that statement. Mm-hmm. You don't I think I'm, I'm listening to you? I, you gotta, I love it. I, I live by that, you yeah. know, because every time I think something is whatever, is like I, he shut me down every time, and it's bigger than what I than even what thought. you even thought. Man, what did the word tell you that? You need it to do. make a song mm-hmm. that, and put that in there. No, for real. When yeah. I'm being transparent and giving these people mm-hmm. something, other, yeah. Because I promise, even dudes, they be like, "Yeah, she go hard, but she always talking about her coochie." And I'm like, "That's messed up," because y'all always talking about y'all thing, like yeah. <laughs> because not everybody. Because er, like I love lyrics i love when you dig down deep inside and start talking about what you're going through yeah you know or motivating people just different things like that right i'm not always into all of that sex and all of that Mm -hmm. stuff like that body parts and all of that Mm -hmm. but you have to know your audience that you cater to right your majority of your audience might love that exactly so it just depends on your audience right 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 but you don't want to be segregated to just just them either you know what i'm saying so that's that's why i drop rags to riches that's exactly why loved everything you're doing so you're gonna come back on the show once you get once you get the other project going you always can stop you're not gonna forget about it man how can i look this nice ass setup i'm trying (laughs) to come do a photo shoot (laughs) <laughs> no, you can always come here. I can promise you. Y'all didn't put me on the TV. She gonna try uh, ain't nobody even doing it like that. Be honest. We <laughs> nah, go hard. Nah, nah, for real. I, did, I had a couple interviews, and I'm like, all right, so we're going we gonna to sit in the closet. Cool. So we can sit in the no, closet. We got you. We got tripping. you, baby. You always welcome here. You, I picked you. Thank you. See, when somebody, that's when yeah. you know it's real. I yeah. picked you, and then you came here, yeah. and you had a great time. I did. But, but scheduling it was kind of a little tripped yeah, out with was, your son with and everything. Baby, yeah. But I said, she going to get it together. I'm going to I'm gonna be here. God got, us, be here. got us doing this. I that's keep telling I keep telling my friends, man, I probably ain't going to be there on time, but I'm going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to work on that. Love your, hey, love your, your energy. Thank love, you. Love your energy. That Thank means you. something. Thank you. We can tell the, the way the spirit roams around the mm-hmm. room. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. I just, I love my people. Whatever y'all need me to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to rock. Know? I'm going yeah. to rock, especially if you're rocking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I used to get caught up in, I've been knowing this girl. I've been knowing this dude for years, and they ain't sharing nothing like nothing. Yeah, I, but it's people yeah. like you. Like, I ain't got to worry about them who not no, watching. No, no, no. We got to focus on the video. people who watch it. Yeah, then I'm going to do me some little skits on it. I'm going to yeah, do all we, that. We yeah. can do whatever and, you want that's how that's how love is. Sometimes yeah. it's always the strangers that give you more love than people who are exactly around you. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. And I ha- that's, that's the only thing I can say was my real struggle with this right now is, like, expecting the people that I know and love to be on board every single time liking and sharing but it's really I, I don't need to worry about them I you're need not to worry, doing it yeah, for I'm them. not doing it for them so I gotta just stay true to me and worry about the people who's receptive to everything that I got going you exactly know? and I ain't gotta ask them to do nothing that's true because the reason why we did this platform is because of people who we can help yeah mm-hmm. through yeah people like you come on here and tell your testimony yeah. tell mm-hmm. what you've been through yeah. how you're rising above it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're looking at how our listeners, and I remember once somebody asked who would be the perfect person for me as to interview. Right. And it wasn't somebody who was a celebrity or anything like that. It would be somebody who heard one of our stories and it changed their life. Right. Coming back to me and saying, oh, my God, you don't know where I was at that, that point. point. Right, right, right. But because of what I heard, I now changed my life. I think that would be the most touching part to me. Right. I think it's something when people... Uh, like I told y'all, that boy in Oklahoma, I don't even know who he is now, but for somebody to get my number, call me and say, I watched all your videos mm-hmm. and you, it changed my life. I love what you're doing. You like me. I come from where I'm trying to make it through what I'm going through now. Mm-hmm. And you know, cause I hustle hard and yeah. they see, you're going to see it. If you ever go look and start reading, like mm-hmm. this dude been doing this forever. It just, now we're doing it this way. Yeah, for but sure. I've always been trying to you know, help yeah, help the masses. Sure. That's what it's that's what that's life what is about. Is, I'm trying to tell y'all six months from now we're gonna do another interview. Oh, really? We, we all, all gonna be looking come, like hey, something different. All you gotta do is come up in here. <laughs> that, hey, he, I'm I'm coming through. Yeah, Can I come? Man, and it's, it's love. You know else. what I'm saying? It's yeah, love. Definitely. Well hey man, I, we gonna we gonna end it like that. That's yes, that's sir. a beautiful all way right. to end it. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Anytime Boss Talk one oh one, man. For sure. We gotta get that we gotta get that drop here in a minute anyway though, man. Holla at your boy, it's a unique hustle. And we out. Come on.